Welcome back to Photography by Harrison and come along with me as we put the FC 300 and the FC 1002 to the test. We're going to be checking out low light 4K video. That being said, let's go for a walk. We're going to try to keep this test as close as we can get it. So we're shooting both cameras on Intelligent Auto and Auto ISO. The FC 1002 is on the left and the FC 300 is on the right. We're going to see how they compare. The FC 300 has a 1 over 2 thirds sensor. The FC 1002 has a 1 inch sensor. In 4K video mode, the FC 1002 crops from a 25 millimeter wide to 37 millimeters. The FC 300 only crops from 25 millimeters to 27 millimeters. I'm just walking down the sidewalks of my hometown, Asheville, North Carolina, so you can get a feel how both cameras will do in, in low light. Well, not necessarily low light, but at least a small town low light. I mean, if you live in a major city, like especially in North Carolina, like Charlotte, and even Greensboro, your downtown is probably a lot brighter. But this is the city I live in, so this is why I'm testing it. And that way you can tell me what you think. Later on, we'll look at the, the grain and the, or the noise and see how both, both of them compare. Just looking on the screen, the FC 300 looks a little brighter, but I don't know about the noise yet. I will not know that till I get home and actually look at it. This is just a, a quick walk to show you how both cameras compare at night in 4K video, shot, shot in intelligent auto mode. This is also a good way to check the image stabilization in 4K. Since I'm walking, we'll see how, how steady they compare. But in, This is strictly unedited video, straight out of the camera. I'm shooting this on the FC 1002, which is a 25 to 400. Of course, when you're shooting 4K, it becomes a 37 to 400, which makes it hard to get much more than your head in the frame. And I have long arms. I have like a 36 inch sleeve, so it helps me. But think, if your arms are shorter, it's going to be almost impossible for you to vlog with this camera without sitting on the stand. But that being said, if you'd like, if you, if you'd like what you see, go down to the right hand corner and the subscribe icon. Also hit the notification icon so you can get all my videos on Thursday and Friday. And also leave a thumbs up if you like what you see. That motivates me to do more videos. If you don't like what you see, it's all right to leave a thumbs down because also that motivates me to do more videos that way I can work on do what you don't like so you'll like it next time. Because I said it before and I say it again, when it comes to photography, no one knows it all. And the more you learn about photography, the more you learn you didn't know. And I want to thank you for coming along with me on this photographic journey. And guess what? I'll see you next time.